God damn, Dave. Shit. It smells like a horse turd, man. Well, if I start smoking something that smells good, we both get arrested. <laughs> it's after 11. Montoya's not going anywhere. It's his party. Linda's got a piece on the news tonight. Thought if they had a TV in there. You know what she's doing? <laughs> Interviewing some people about the sexual habits of the American male. I want to see what she asks. Did you learn anything, huh? It's funny. <laughs> it's very good. There he is. All right. Why don't I trust that guy? Why? Because you've been on the force for seven years and it's turned you into a cynic. Come on, let's go. Turn me into something. Here goes. All right. just a, uh, a massage parlor or something like that. No, we provide what's most important in the world today, companionship. I mean, everybody needs somebody, right? I mean, our business is supplying that somebody. And I might add, at a very reasonable and not too exorbitant price. Now, you take these girls here. I mean, they're not just trained physical therapists. No, no, by no means. In fact, no, they can talk, they can, uh, they can do a lot of things. I mean, they're specialists in relating to people in any way you can think of. Everybody is equal in our eyes. Our main concern is that they don't have, you know, we, we don't allow a, a uh, conduct to settle, or keep a standard of conduct. I see you have an undress code there. Wait, this what? is Linda Chan, you, Channel 6 understand. News, reporting live from North Beach. What do you, would you explain yourself? Just relax, huh? Okay. You know what? He just wants to talk. And there's no percentage, right? Uh, maybe. I just got a feeling. Got a feeling. Who the hell knows we're here? Nobody, right? Where the hell is he?
sent you. Who was in the car? <laughs> department cannot operate that way. We were set up. <laughs> oh, really? Your undercover operation was the best kept secret this narcotics bureau has ever had. So tell me something, my friend. Where was the leak? On this end, someone here? If you've got charges to make, you better make them. I'd love to hear them. Unless, of course, uh, you're just making excuses to cover up for your own incompetence. Let me tell you what I think. I think you and your partner, Pierce, blew it. I think you walked into a situation I made not going to sniff out. Your partner, Pierce, gets incinerated in you. You go berserk in front of a street full of people turning the whole stupid thing into a headline story and blowing 14 goddamn months of work. Now, wouldn't you say that's a pretty fair assessment? I mean... What do I tell the commissioner? How do I defend a man like you? I'll save you the trouble. I can't tell you what to do. Take the test, try it for yourself. Hey, what happened? It's another time, Mac. Hey, Sean? Sean? Hey, we're really sorry about Dave. Which he probably had. Thank 
Jones wasn't here. My father never leaves his hilltop now. He mourns David in his own way. Sean, I want to know about the people who killed him. I want to know about the undercover operation, everything. I never really understood. I only get bits and pieces from David. Bits and pieces are all we had. But he felt that you were getting close to someone, something. The night it happened, Dave and I were to meet this guy, Montoya. He was supposed to lead us to the man behind us here on operation. We thought it was the big breakthrough. It was a traffic start to finish. Someone set us up. Who? I don't know yet. I'm gonna find out. Sean, I have so much hate in me. I have so much anger. I want these people to feel what I'm feeling. They are not gonna get away with this, Sean. They're not. <laughs> What you mean? <sighs> hey, Mort, make yourself useful. here on the West Coast, Bangkok and Hong Kong became the new drug dispensaries. So what's being done about it? Well, more. Probably oh, as much more. as humanly possible, and most certainly not enough. Understaffed and overworked narcotics agencies have their backs to the wall, and things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. Next time, we'll take a look at some of the shadowy figures behind the heroin traffic here on the West Coast. Hello. Men who hey, I'm looking at you right now. I'm sorry, Sean. There's no time. I'm at a bar station. There's some people after me. Listen, I've done it. I got what I was after. Sean, you're here. Uh, I'll call you back. Which station? Linda. Dollar Empires. This is Linda Chan, Channel 6 News.
okay? Listen, lady, you want to park here? Then you gotta wait for me. What's going on? Where are you? I'm home now. I've just got to get a few things and then I'm coming right over. I've got evidence, Sean. I've got real evidence. What do you mean? What kind of evidence? Hey, it's murder. The, the people behind it. It's a bigger operation than I ever even imagined. You've got to call the police. You need protection. Sean, I can't. Who can I even trust there? Okay. Go down to the pier. I'll meet you in the boat. It'll be faster. Linda? Are you there? Linda? Linda? Linda, what's going on? Linda! Linda, can you hear me? Linda, what is it? Is someone there? Linda? Linda, what's going on? Stephen is subject to his being here. Tom, next time check with me, will you? Yeah, I hear it. See that door? What the hell did that? Like somebody came right through it. Somebody's gone over the place. You ever see this movie? These homicide guys don't like us in this early. I thought, what was the series she had gone on Channel 6 and the Dave Pierce thing, the narcotics angle was pretty obvious. The phone call she had there, what, about a half hour apart? And she didn't say where she was, except at a BART station. And what the evidence was. Huh. <sighs> you say she changed. After the Pierce thing, she got pretty obsessive about it. Murder tends to do that to you.
Thank you. Excuse me. I understand you're going to seal off this apartment, and I'd like to get some of my things. I'm Heather Sullivan. I live upstairs, and I'm a friend of Linda's. So my clothes and things are here. I'm a friend of Linda's, and some of my things are here. Look, I know it's not the right time, but I just want to get some of my Listen, things. Miss, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I'm not the person you want. See that man right over there? He can take care of me. personnel only in this apartment. Everybody else, clear the area. That means you, Kane. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I still have to get a statement from you. First Pierce, then his girlfriend. What's your theory, Kane? Or you just here as a friend of the family? Shoulder seems to heal up pretty good. Remarkable. Mac, let me know what you turn up, okay? Here, Miss Sullivan. You're Sean Kane, aren't you? That's right. Why, Linda? I don't understand. To us, please. Tell us what's going on. No comment. Shirley, you must be able to tell us. This something. has been a very sad day indeed for Channel 6. Hey, why is this? This car is gone. You want to bet? Okay, you have it your own way. No comment. No comment, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, I can't Mr. discuss this Mr. matter. Mr. Would you please? The body is that of a well-developed, well-nourished Asian female. Age 26, weighs 110 pounds, measuring 5 feet 6 inches. I shall critique your hemorrhages. Mm -hmm. The neck shows pattern contusion and abrasions. On dissection of the neck, there are hemorrhages of the soft tissue. The vertebra is fractured at level C3 and C4. The cervical spinal cord is lacerated and contused. Well, consistent with strangulation and uh, twisting of the neck. And neck spoke. Two of the vertebrae on their neck are completely snapped. I'm telling you, whoever did this got a hell of a lot of strength. Any ideas, Mac? Well, we got a half a dozen witnesses saw her chased around the Market Street BART station by some guy that they said looked like a Sherman tank in a suit. They should be too hard to find. You think? So far, he's invisible. It's a shame. It is a shame. Very pretty girl. Shit, we got nothing. No prints in the house. The car was clean. We found the car, by the way. It was on Market Street. Apparently, she got herself blocked into a loading zone. Took a cab home. You know what I don't understand? What in the hell did she stop and call you for in the first place? She was scared. The people who were chasing her were closing in. And, well, maybe she's trying to shake them. I don't know, maybe. And again, what about the... Evidence she was talking about. But there's nothing in the apartment? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. Hey, Stevens is handling the entity for the larger aspects of the case. He's put a lid on this you wouldn't believe. How the hell can he get away with that? 
Don't ask me, man. I don't know. I just work here. Ask him. Bobby, uh, just make sure I get a copy of that, okay? Kane, you got business here? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I've been wanting to talk with you. I've been doing some checking on the uh, Chan family. Your connection, yours and Pierce's, goes back a few years. What's his name? Uh, Mr. Chan, uh, he's the man who got you involved in the martial arts, is that right? That's right. Well, tell me something. Why is it that when Linda Chan thought she was in trouble, I mean, she called you instead of the police? I mean, why would she do that? Is there someone on the force she's afraid of? You tell me. James? I was thinking of Linda. Her death was an execution. So the police have informed me. She was investigating the drug peddlers. It seems she bound her fate with David. She had evidence, she said. I don't know what. And you feel guilt. There is no need. We have talked, she and I. She was like you. Headstrong, willful. She had a great hunger for retribution. It seems I, too, am in need of retribution. I'm expecting a Captain Stevens. I believe he's not a friend of yours. I'll wait here.
simply followed you. Off, didn't you? Whoever they were. Yeah.
Not that one. That one could put us off the air. Sorry. No harm done. By the way, thank you for the use of your handkerchief. I put all of Linda's reports on one rail, and I'll come up on the center monitor. What do you do here? The news editor. Down here along these mean streets, a scene of hopelessness, despair, and tragedy. The tragedy of lives ruined before they begun. The pictures are all variations on a theme. Teenage girls turning themselves to prostitution, selling themselves for money needed to maintain their habits. Young addicts moving from petty crime to theft, assault, armed Move robbery. But police say it's a major factor. It was only a few short years Construction of the Turkish poppy crop. Closing down of the Marseille based French connection, things were looking hopeful. But hope quickly withered. For ports of entry here on the West Coast, Bangkok and Hong Kong became the new drug dispensaries. Controlled in large part by Chinese secret societies, the triads, heroin traffic has been burgeoning. On freighters like these, and this is just by way of example, how many. These officials do what they can, but the sheer weight of numbers is against them. So much heroin is being smuggled into this country. Drug enforcement people are doubling Hold it. the. Can you roll it back? Sure. Look up. Roll it forward a bit. So much heroin is being smuggled into this country. There. Drug. Can you zoom in on that guy? You know what pier that is? On what freighter? I can make out the name. Not offhand. I can check the camera reports. I'd appreciate it. Mr. Kane. I have to get back to the office. Uh, could you come to see me before you leave? It's Mr. Canfield, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Just tell my secretary that you're expected, would you? It isn't just because she was a reporter here, Mr. Kane. I'm sure that you will agree that the murder of a reporter in the pursuit of an investigation is every bit as serious as the murder of a policeman in the line of duty. Uh, are you sure you won't... Uh... Uh, no, thank you. Linda was very special to me. Very special. As I know she was to you. When she first came to this station, she became a project of mine. She had so much energy, so much courage. The murder of Dave Pierce was a devastating blow to her. Devastating. I did what I could to ease matters, but she didn't appear to want any help. Her last narcotic series was a tribute to her determination. Now, I don't normally allow access to station news material, not to the police, not to anybody. It's a matter of policy, you understand. I even denied access to Captain Stevens. But I know your reputation, and I'm impressed. If you care to involve yourself in this case, Mr. Kane, if you are for hire, perhaps. I'm not. I see. Well, if there's anything that I can do, Mr. Kane, anything at all, you know, services, facilities, don't hesitate to ask. Please, we're at your disposal. Thank you. Listen, would you call Sam for me and have him get the recipes down to me? Okay. Thanks a lot. Hi. Oh, hi. This is our beloved leader. Oh, how is he usually? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, here, let me help you these. Thank you. Yeah. They haven't seen too much of him around here since Linda's death. He had a thing for her. What kind of thing? He liked her. He was supportive. When Dave was killed, he was a good friend to her. We spent a lot of time together. They were never lovers. I don't think. I would have known something like that. I mean, Linda and I talked all the time. Dave Pierce was her whole life. Anyway, I'm still checking through my camera reports, and I'll give you my number at home. Uh, oh, here's a pet. Thank you. You should give me a call later, and I'll tell you what I found out. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Oh, here's your tapes.
concept of value for money. Tony Montoya, Nicky. He's back in town and you know where he is. What am I? Some street corner stool pigeon? Some penny ante informer? Look around you, Mr. King. Look at those etchings over there. Look at this vase. Do you understand what it is that permeates this room? Is it your king? <laughs> it's quality, Mr. King. La Belle girls don't do stag parties. They don't do bowling tournaments or police benefits. <laughs> Therefore, the sophisticated man, the connoisseur. And do you know how I'm able to attract clientele like that? Confidentiality. Mm -hmm. The LaBelle customer knows that whatever transpires between he and myself is sacred. It's a trust, Mr. Kane, never to be violated. <laughs> How long do you think I could maintain this quality business? Uh, please, do, uh, please, be careful with it. Sean, please don't drop that. Don't drop that! Sean, Sean, I know where Tony is, and I will tell you. for Mr. Nicky LaBelle. They refused me. I had to insist. What were you doing there in the first place? This card. It was in the pocket of the man who was shot. What about the other one? The triad. Did Stevens ever show him? I haven't seen Captain Stevens. You are correct about the triad, however. I tried to question him. to expire. Spiritual harmony. Don't look at me. Huh? I'm on that. Well, 
Chasing Linda. Now she died. Then we'll find him and kill him. Let's get out. Montoya so fast. They were informed, perhaps by Mr. Lavelle. No, not Nicky. Tonight, we made a highly efficient team, you and I. You have learned well. Though, I must say, in the combat I have witnessed, your form has been impossibly cruel. Well, I get a little nervous when someone's trying to kill me. It's your concentration. It's weak. I wonder if you meditate enough. In a world like this, that is always a problem. Yeah, I've been pretty busy now. It's pretty hard sometimes. Perfection is approachable soon, as I've often told you. On the whole, however, you're not too bad. Thank you. Do not let my praise inflate your ego. It is already swollen enough. Okay, stay put. I'll be right there. took are some of my tapes. Your tapes? I have sound effects on cassettes. I record them, sort of a hobby. I've sold them to sound libraries. The station even bought some. Did you call the police? 
No, I just got home when you called. Sean, do you think it's the same people that killed Linda? Probably. Whatever it was you have, they're still after it. Tapes. Linda had a lot of recording equipment. What do you mean? I'm not sure. Listen, you may still be in danger here, so grab what things you need and come stay at my place. Uh, it's the safest place in town. Really. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. The camera sheets are still missing. But I talked to the guy who shot Linda's stuff, and all of the doc stuff was on Pier 2. It was a, a freighter called the Sulu Sea. The Sulu Sea. looking. Great house. How did you ever find it? I built him. You're a very handy guy. Boat, car, house. Boat I converted, the car I restored, and uh, the house is all mine. Cooks, too. Delicious. Thanks. Something wrong? Idle speculation. Wondering who you are. Just another out of work ex cop. The score to settle. What about when it's settled? What then? Any ideas? extra blankets in the closet. If you need anything else, just... I'll be fine. Thank you. Oh, good night. Good night. Hey, Mort, come back here. It's okay, he's all right. Yeah, that's what I see. Traitor.
private here. Yeah, it looks like they made it private. You think there's drugs on board? Heroin? If Tony Montoya's been hanging around down there, I'd say the chances are pretty good. The customs people check these ships out? Well, they normally give them a routine look. But they don't go all out on the ship that size unless they have information to warrant it. Like a request from the Narcotics Bureau. You don't think they've had that kind of request? Somehow I don't. Once the security system's on, this house is practically impregnable. Safest place in town. Right. Don't open the door for anyone until I get back. Be careful. I will if you will. Locker key. And, uh...
Sean, this is Heather. I found a key in one of my shoes. Mortimer found it. Good it's boy, one Mark. of the pairs that Linda used, so I'm sure she put it there. I'm at the Market Street Bart station now. I looked in the locker. There's a cassette tape in it, just like you thought. I'm going to go over to Channel 6 and play it back. So please meet me there as soon as you can. Bye. Here, Mark, go crazy. Can I help you, sir? I'm supposed to meet Sean. Sean, come on through. You're expected. Okay. Hi, Mac. Hi. Heather Solomon is with Canfield up in his office. What's he doing here so early? I don't know. Something about a tape cassette? Said that Heather was with him and you were on your way. Have they played it yet? The tape? I don't think so. I talked to Canfield on the phone. He called the department. Who else knows about this? Not Stevens, if that's who you mean. <laughs> Mac, you know anything about a freighter out of Hong Kong called the Sulu Sea? It's in port right now. Should I, Sean? Well, there's a fire on board last night, among other things. Someone must have been notified. It didn't reach me. What is it, smuggling? Firecrackers filled with heroin. Firecrackers? There was a big enough mess down there that they'll want to offload that stuff fast. So you're going to have to get together whatever people you can trust in the department and get on it. Yes, I understand the concern. It's a big shipment. They want to make sure. But I'm telling you that my organization can handle it. We can have the commodities transshipped and on the street in a matter of days. Come here, Mr. Kern. Sean! I understand that since you left the force, you no longer carry a weapon. Does he, McCoy? He is a weapon. Well, then you'll have to keep him very carefully covered, won't you? Uh, incidentally, I want to thank you, uh, you and uh, Heather here, for your tireless pursuit of this. I doubt very much if any of my own people would have been able to do that. Except Linda. Linda nearly did. My weakness for Oriental women, you know. He was telling me about the Sulu Sea. Was he? I wonder who else he told. Nobody, I think. Splendid. Well, I think you'd be interested to know that the fire was contained and the cargo is safe. Arrangements are being made for it right now. Isn't it fortunate for us, Mr. Kane, that the only police officer that you felt you could trust totally was our friend McCoy here? Well, I doubt if we shall have any further use for Mr. Kane. Oh, and you, young lady, you've never been to my house, have you? You really should visit it. Linda enjoyed herself there very much. Very much. This way. I'm afraid it's no good looking at him. I feel that shortly he will be otherwise engaged. I'm afraid I must insist. <sighs> Professor? I believe you gentlemen have already met. The professor has quite a way with the ladies. What is at hand? There is no shame in this. Untie me, quick. I was here to take possession of Linda's personal belongings when I saw you arrive with a policeman. Since you have not seen fit to inform me of your progress, I have to follow behind you. As I have said, we must be a team. You're right. 
Take care of them. Do not be precipitous. Concentrate. <laughs> Do your own killing, Mac? I'm in this for the money, Sean. That's as far as it goes. How much to get for something like this? A lot. A whole lot. Was it you, Mac, that set Dave and I up with Montoya? I passed along information, yeah. I never would have done it if I didn't know what was going to happen. Dave Pierce was a friend of mine, you know that. I had no idea what they were going to do, I swear to you. And you weren't in the car that night? No. I'm telling you, I wasn't. Sean, I just got in too deep. What about Linda, Mac? Why, Linda? Don't come any closer, Sean. I can't go to prison, you know that. I'm gonna take you in, Mac. Please. I don't want to kill you. Stay there. <laughs> This is how the heroin is brought in. Ken Phil must have thought he was pretty clever. Having his own TV station conduct an expose of drug smuggling. But he underestimated Linda. She was too good for him. She discovered his involvement and set out to trap him. She recorded a phone conversation that would have gone him sky high. But Ken Phil found out and sent his boys after her. That was the night she called me. From the Market Street station? She must have thought she might not make it. So she dumped the tape in a locker just in case. Where it stayed until now. Damn it. I don't have time for that now. Such a persistent child. A 
and old for nothing. Where's their snake? Up there, I think. How may this be confirmed? Only one way. Huh? A warrior is not a mountain goat. It is well to remember this. It's Kane. It's with another man, Chinese. They're climbing up to the house. Do you want us to intercept them? No, no, we can't move yet. Have you seen that truck? Not yet. I can well understand that most of you were somewhat concerned about last night's incident aboard the Sulu Sea. But let me reassure you, events have resolved themselves most satisfactorily, in fact, rather better than we had hoped. And the cargo is safely on its way here right now. The scope of this operation, as you will see, the largest single shipment of merchandise ever imported onto the west coast of this continent has naturally made some of you a little uh, anxious. But I don't think it's premature now to congratulate ourselves on a job well done. see on page two, paragraph, excuse me, yes, excellent, thank you. Well, gentlemen, the cargo is here. Now get up, slowly. Relax, gentlemen, relax. Nothing could possibly penetrate our security. Let's go.
I don't know why you'd say that.
Very impressive, Mr. Kane. Very impressive. Even more than advertised. Now, would you be good enough to move back and out of the way, please? I wouldn't hesitate to shoot this young lady, you know. As you can hear, I don't have very much choice. That's better. Easy does it. I'd like to stay and discuss this with you, Mr. Kane, but you understand. Hey, Tyler! All right, get him out of here. Hold it, Kane! Don't come any closer, Stevens. Sure, no! Do it, Kane. Not now. Not when we've got him. It's the wrong move, Kane. He's through, man. Doc, doc, doc. Don't make the same mistake twice. It's not up to you. <laughs> Let the law have him. You speak for the law? Like McCoy? No, 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 friend. Not like McCoy. We knew about McCoy. We've been watching him just like we've been watching Canfield. But we couldn't make a move till we got that shipment. The evidence. <laughs> I can't play your game, Stevens. Let us solve our man, huh? We can throw the book at him. Murder, narcotics. There's a truck load of heroin out there. Sean, he has the tape. He has Linda's tape. Sean. Sean. All right, get him out of here. Come on, move. Kane! You know, I'll tell you something, Kane. For a while, I had my suspicions about you. All your running around and agitating seemed like you're gonna blow the whole damn thing. But then I realized that you were bothering them more than you were bothering me, so uh, I decided that I'd take advantage of you. That little stunt you pulled last night at the Sulu Sea was what made this whole thing possible. If they hadn't panicked and brought the heroin up here, who knows? I hate to say it, but... Uh, thanks. You know, I'd hate to say it, too. But you're welcome. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. An interesting turn of events. You are to be commended, Sean. It was well done. Although, your contest was a big man. What little I saw of it. It's your lack of concentration, as I have told you. Your center is insufficiently stable. I know you believe your physical dexterity provides a certain compensation. As a dress, you have had success. But if you had seen me in my prime years, for example, you would have seen a coordination of mind and body that would have astounded you. What I could have done to a man like that, Professor, I must tell you. Huh? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 